Greetings, my esteemed Laddingtons. I'm checking in from Age of Empires 3. I'm checking in with a Let's Play, and I'm doing it only to promote my book review of Roger Crowley's book Conquerors, How Portugal Forged the First Global Empire. It's a good book, and if you want to know more about it, I recommend that you read the book review. Reading my book reviews is also one of the steps on uh, the latest Wild Hunt challenge, and hopefully many of you have already read it, so um, this uh, will be familiar uh, to you, the, the story I'm about to tell now. Uh, well, perhaps not really tell a story, but I will show a story. So we have here in this fine game, Age of Empires 3, I uh, played it a bit in my youth. Um, it's a good game. It's, uh, it's a nice, uh, I get a nice feel when uh, playing it. Um, now, of course, I haven't played it in a while. I did a Let's Play about a year ago, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, it seems that they have released a new DLC. So with some new historical battles set in Africa. And of course, this Christopher Dagama's expedition in 1542 is also set in Africa. So I will um, read this little accompanying text here. Following in the footsteps of his famous father, Vasco da Gama, Christopher da Gama traveled east seeking riches and adventure. On the East African coast he learned that Ethiopia had been nearly conquered by the Somali Adal Sultanate. Da Gama set out to find and rescue the Ethiopian emperor and help him retake his empire. Now, something I didn't quite elaborate on in my book review, but something that Roger Crowley mentions in the book is that in Portugal at the time, or a bit earlier than um, 1542, so before the great uh, voyages took place, there was a legend about a powerful Christian emperor, Prester John. They named him so a powerful Ethiopian Christian emperor who could be an ally against Islam. So this can be viewed from that aspect that the Portuguese, they wanted allies against the Muslims because the... Um, a motivating factor for the Portuguese and of course also the uh, the Spanish they had fought the forces of Islam for so long so they brought that ethno-religious uh, rivalry with them to the Indian Ocean so um, certain battles they were a bit more ferocious because of that but anyway that is the the story of why they would be here they sought allies and at some times they even thought that the Hindus of India were Christian because they were not Muslim, so they had a... So that was their perspective. Now, of course, why did the Portuguese go to the Indian Ocean? Yes, first and foremost, to, um, to gain some... To gain access to a lucrative spice trade. And of course, when they went to India, they also landed in um, along the coasts of uh, Africa. So anyway, that being said, let's get into the scenario at hand. I've set the difficulty to standard. I have actually played this before at uh, moderate, but I don't want to concentrate overly much on the actual gameplay in case I need to enlighten you with uh, some wisdom about Portugal's glorious history. So we're getting ambushed here. So we, will be and like we need to escape from this place. I will leave a, uh, an organ gun here to, uh, to deal with uh, these, uh, these hostiles. So yes, we are uh, outnumbered there. We need, to, uh, we need to flee to our allies. Here they are. And uh, this is actually a new civilization in this uh, fine game. So some African civilizations. The Adal Sultanate is that way. Now, where is your captain, Christopher da Gama? I will address your cowardice with him personally. Your Majesty, our captain has been murdered by the Adal warlord Ahmed Gran. We came to join you so that we can recover Jagama's body and have our vengeance on his murderer. Then you will listen to my commands. Liberate the highland villages. Tell the people that their emperor lives and you will strengthen my armies as they push through the valleys. 
Uh, all right, so a bit of historical inaccuracy here in, in this otherwise fine game. The Portuguese were famous for uh, extreme bravery. If my son and I are to defeat Ahmed Gra, we will need more than a few cowardly Portuguese who let the captain be murdered. Uh, yes, as I said, uh, the, the Portuguese were famous or even infamous in the Indian Ocean for extreme bravery. Um, because they were... My armies will be attacking in the direction of the Adapter. Travel to the villages so that more warriors join our forces. They were very concerned with honor and glory. Uh, so to describe the Portuguese as anything but uh, very brave, courageous is uh, historically inaccurate. Uh, there was even a sequence where they could have sunk an enemy ship by using superior firepower, but they didn't because it would be more honorable to, um, to take the ship via hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, so yeah, that's something to, to keep in mind, something that can be a motivating factor, this uh, insane thirst for honor and glory uh, that drove them. And of course, you're not a coward if you set out on this sort of um, expedition uh, that the Portuguese did. I will turn Ethiopia into a sand before I suffer a defeat. So we have taken a village. We'll take this village now as well. My warriors, reclaim the land that is rightfully yours. So something I've always liked with this fine game is the, um, the graphics of it, the feel to it. It looks uh, warm and inviting, and uh, of course it's set in the yeah, in the age of uh, exploration. The original game, Age of Empires 3, it's uh, set in good old America. We are uh, uh, European powers coming there to colonize and settle. Join the Imperial Army to free all of our lands from the invaders. Okay, so we have... Um, we can actually send some, uh, some additional units from our home city here. So we can send some... two priests to heal our, uh, our units. So, um, as you might have seen, on... Uh, I posted to you to name nutrition a... A home city shipment, it's called, and that's actually a gotten inspiration uh, from uh, this particular game. So this is called a home city shipment, where you send reinforcements from your uh, from your home city, Lisbon, in our case. So that's what I think about when uh, when sending supplements to the new world. That you're getting reinforcements uh, from me, your esteemed captain here in the old world all right i utilized a little edit there and um have almost liberated all of the ethiopian villages and uh, as such our force has also grown quite a bit uh, and uh, we're getting ready to uh, assault the main camp so as you might see here i have two priests with me and uh, in the game they uh, they heal uh, our own troops so it's uh, quite good to have and now we're getting um yes so um that is what we're doing right now we're actually throwing the foreign invaders out um, so we have one village there that we will liberate and then we'll assault the main base. And you can see we have a lot of support from our allies here. Some shuttle warriors and some spearmen. 
there. Good times, good times. So we have a village here, in addition to a little outpost, a tower of the Adal Sultanate. So I'm gonna ambush these guys now. And uh, there we are. Good times, good times. And now we got another home city shipment. So now we are ready to um, mount the final attack, and uh, hopefully our little army here will be enough to to do it. It should be enough since we have our allies as well, but uh, who knows, we'll see. Now we have to protect the organ guns, since they are our main, main artillery that can take down buildings. Now of course we can use the infantry as well, but uh, not quite as effective. So anyway, let me know in the comment section if you would like to see more Let's Plays. They're quite easy for me to make, uh, quite relaxing as well, so uh, not any anything um, overly time-consuming. Uh, I don't need to prepare as much as I would need to do for a more um, heavier topic video or something like that. And uh, yeah, it's a nice break for me too. I've been right maxing uh, currently, fully occupied by rewriting Dauntless. So I can get it out in good time. It'll be in October or something like that. And uh, yeah, when you're productivity maxing, you're writing. It's always nice to have a little break. Do something more light-hearted such as... Visiting East Africa in the 1500s. Reliving the glories of the uh, Portuguese. So we are almost there. Just need to destroy that tower. And then I suppose we have... Uh, have won this uh, particular scenario so anyway thank you for watching and be sure to read the uh, book review uh, which you should do anyway if you participate in the wild hunt challenge so now we'll admire this moment of triumph when this tower falls boom Portuguese, you have done your duty to your slain capital return to Portugal and tell your king that Ethiopia officials with the noise from the sea, but let him know how hard we fight to defend our lives. All right, there we are. Driven to avenge the death of their captain, the surviving members of Christopher da Gama's expedition remained in Ethiopia, joining Queen Sabla Wengo and the Emperor Gala Dewos at the Battle of Wainadaga. Six months after da Gama's execution, the Portuguese finally had their vengeance. As the Ardo warlord Ahmed Gran commanded his troops from horseback in the thick of battle, a lone Portuguese soldier fearlessly charged into the Ardo lines and fired his arquebus into the warlord's chest. Gran fell dead, and the Portuguese avenged their chivalrous captain. Without their leader, and withering under the Ethiopian assault, the Ardal forces retreated. Ethiopia, an empire as old as Rome, was saved. It would not be the last time that the Ethiopians fiercely fought to defend their land. Good stuff, good stuff. So again, thank you for watching and let me know in the comment section if you would like to see more of this Let's Plays. Now, I'll see you in the next video. XOXO, boom!